Question number 36. Calculate the Carl Pearson correlation coefficient for the following data. You are given demand of product X and the sale of product Y. In this video, we shall see how to calculate R using direct method. It is calculated using variables as it is. Let us draw 5 columns. On top of the column, write computation of Pearson's correlation coefficient. In the first column, write demand of product X. Second column, write sale of product Y. Then XY, that is the multiplication of demand of product X and sale of product Y. And in the next column, write it as X square. That is you have to square the values given in X, that is demand of product X. In the last column, write the heading as Y square. That is you have to square the values given in sale of product Y. Now copy the values that is given in the question. So demand of product X, you are given 10 values there. 23, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 33, 35, 36 and 39. Next to column, copy the values sale of product Y. 18, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 29, 30, 32. Before you start calculating X, Y, first add all the values that is given in demand of product X, which gives 311. It must be written as sigma x is equal to 311. That is the total of all the x values. Then add all the values that is given in sale of product y. There also you have 10 values. The total is 257. Write it as sigma y is equal to 257. Next multiply the values of x and y and write it in the next column which is given as xy. So 23 into 18 is equal to 414. 27 into 22 is equal to 594. 28 into 23 is equal to 644. 29 into 24 is equal to 696. 30 into 25 is equal to 750. 31 into 26 is equal to 806. 33 into 28 is equal to 924. 35 into 29 is equal to 1015, 36 into 30 is equal to 1080, 39 into 32 is equal to 1248. Once you finish writing all the values after multiplying x and y, you have to add all the xy values. The total of these values is 8171 which must be written as sigma xy is equal to 8171 that is it is the total of all the xy values next you have to square the x values first so first value is 23 so 23 square that is 23 into 23 is equal to 529 27 square is 729 28 square is 784 29 square is 841 30 square is 900 31 square is 961 33 square is 1089 35 square is 1225 36 square is 1296 39 square is 1521 next you have to add all the values of x square the addition gives you 9875. It must be written as sigma x square is equal to 9875. Next calculate the values of y square. So first value is 18 there. 18 into 18 is equal to 324. 22 into 22 is equal to 484. So 23 square is 529. 24 square is 576 25 square is 625 26 square is 676 28 square is 784 29 square is 841 30 square is 900 and 32 square is 1024 
then you have to add all the y square values addition of y square values gives 6763 that is sigma y square is equal to 6763 now you have to substitute all these values in the formula the formula of calculating carl pearson's coefficient of correlation using the direct method r is equal to n sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y the whole thing divided by root of n sigma x square minus sigma x square into root of n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square now we have to substitute the values here the total values are 10 so n is substituted as 10 and the total of all the x y values after multiplying x and y it is 8171 so 10 into 8171 minus you are given sigma x into sigma y so all the total of x values that is sigma x is 311 and the total of all the y values sigma y is equal to 257 so 311 into 257 the whole thing divided by root of then again first you have n so n is substituted by 10 sigma x square the total of all x square values is 9875 so 10 into 9875 keep that in brackets minus sigma x square so the total of x values is 311 you have to square the values here first you must substitute x then you have to square so what is sigma x here 311 so you have to square that value minus 311 square into again root of n is substituted by 10 there the value of sigma y square is 6763 so 10 multiplied by 6763 minus sigma y the square so what is the value of sigma y here 257 that value has to be squared be very cautious when you are substituting the values uh, in the denominator you have to substitute the sigma x and sigma y values and then you have to square now calculating 10 into 8171 gives you 81710 311 into 257 gives you 79927 which has to be subtracted from 81710 whole thing divided by keep the root 10 into 9875 gives you 98750 minus 311 square gives you 96721 into root of 10 into 6763 gives you 67630 minus 257 square so 257 square is 66049 so that has to be subtracted from 67630 in the next step first subtract the values given in the numerator so 81000 710 minus 79,927 gives you 1783 then 98,000 minus 750 minus 96,721 gives you 2029 then 67,630 minus 66,049 gives you 11581 both must be kept in roots in the next step write the numerator value and in the denominator since both the values are in root you can first multiply both the values and then take the root on multiplying 2029 with 1581 it gives 32 lakhs 7849 then again write the numerator value and take the root of the denominator value which gives 1791.05 on dividing 1783 with 1791.05 it gives you r is equal to 0 
the value is actually here in positive so demand of the product and the sale of the product is positively correlated when demand of the product increases then the sale of the product also increases thank you